Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this channel, Everyday Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts involved in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on lead code, Immediate Food Delivery Part 2, and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is medium, and this question has been asked in DoorDash interviews over the past couple of years a number of times. Okay, so let's jump right in. We are given a table called Delivery with four different columns. Delivery ID, Customer ID, Order Date, and Customer Preferred Delivery Date. Delivery ID is the primary key of this table. This table, this table holds information about food delivery to customers that make orders at some date and specify a preferred delivery date, on the same order date or after it. If the customer's prefers preferred delivery date is same as the order date, then the order is called immediate, otherwise it is called scheduled. The first order of a customer is the order with the earliest order date that the customer made. It is guaranteed that a customer has precisely one first order. We are asked to write a SQL query to find the percentage of immediate orders in the first orders of all customers. So not all the orders. In the first orders, what is the percentage of immediate orders rounded to two decimal places? And order of the result doesn't matter because we all only, you know, generating one number out of this, right? Let's go through this example, right? So for here, if you see, there are four different customers, right? Customer ID one, two, three, and four. Let's see what is the, on their first orders, what is the percentage of immediate orders? So for customer ID one, the first, there are two orders, right? On 1st of August, 2019 and 11th of August, 2019. So the, obviously the first order is on 1st of August and the preferred delivery date is next day. So if the delivery date is not on the same day, then it is called scheduled. Otherwise it is called immediate. So for customer ID one, first on first order, it is a scheduled type, right? Scheduled order type. For customer ID two, again, two different orders. 2nd of August and 11th of August. So first one is this and here the preferred delivery date is same day. So it is an immediate. So for one, it was scheduled for two. It was immediate for three again, 24th and 21. So first one is this and this is again a scheduled and for fourth 9th of August, there is only one order and the delivery date is also the same day. So it is immediate. So for two and four, the first order is a immediate type order and for one and three the first order is scheduled type so two out of four on the first order is immediate type so what is the percentage 50 percent right and that is what the answer is so to start developing this query we need to do two things the first thing should be for each of the customer identify that each of the delivery ID is what order number, right? So for example, for customer ID one, there are two different orders, right? So which one is the first one? Which one is the second one? And the second thing we should do is try to find that each of the order is what kind of order. So when like, you know, these dates are equal, it is as immediate order. If not, then it is a scheduled order. So let's go ahead and start making this query, right? So from this table called delivery, right? So from this table called delivery, what we are doing is let's return everything, like all the four columns that we have, right? Cust delivery ID, customer ID, order date, and customer preferred delivery date. And then let's make a fifth column, which basically tells for each of the customer, which one is the first order, which one is the second order, etc. So we need, we can use a rank window function to do this. Since we are writing a window function, we need to write the over clause. And since we want it for each of the customer, then we need to partition by the customer ID. And we also want to, you know, order by order date because we want to make sure that the very first order is assigned rank one. Right. And the next one is assigned rank two. The next one is assigned rank three and so on. So order by order date. Right. So it will order in ascending order. And then we are calculating the rank. Right. And let's alias this as uh, order number. Right. So order number. 
and let's make another so sixth column which basically tells you what kind of or what is the type of order immediate or scheduled so we can use case when statements here so case when order date is equal to this one right customer preferred delivery date so then it's immediate by the definition given in the question else it is scheduled right scheduled then you end the case statements and let's alias this as order type right so this is what we get let me run this obviously the query is not complete so you know it, the answer that we are going to get is the wrong answer but i just want to demonstrate what we are getting when we you know write this query right so let me run this okay so here if you see so we have delivery id customer id order date customer preferred delivery date and then we have order number the column that we created and the order type right both of these columns we created so if you see for customer for delivery id 1 customer id 1 right so order date and preferred delivery date and this is the rank and schedule so if you see the order date is 1st of august and the de preferred delivery date is 2nd of august so it is a scheduled delivery and since this was the very first order the rank is assigned 1 similarly for this one uh, same customer id 1 right uh, it is again a scheduled delivery and the rank is assigned to for customer ID 2 you know this is the first order so first one immediate and the second one order number 2 and which is a, which is scheduled right so here we have this let's store this in a common table expression so with CTE as right and we write everything in parentheses now the question says that for the first orders what is the percentage of immediate orders right so from this common table expression we know the type of the order and the number of the order right so from this common table expression keep only those rows where the order number is equal to one what this means so from this common table expression only keep those rows where the order number is equal to one which basically means only keep the first orders of each of the customers right and then what we need to do is we need to find out the percentage of immediate orders right so from this we made sure that we are only looking at you know the first orders and then what we can do is we can employ the case when statements that case when the order type right the order type column that we created here the order type is equal to immediate you return one else you return zero then you sum all those ones and divide by the total number of rows that you have so that is going to give you the percentage right you can multiply it by 100 and then round it to two decimal places right as the question asks so let's do this so case when order type is equal to immediate you return one else else you return zero you end the case statement and then you sum this right sum all those ones you sum that and then what you do is you divide this by count star that is divide by all number of rows present so basically all those customers right count star and then what you do is you multiply so this will give you the fraction now you multiply this by 100 it will give you the percentage and then you round it to two decimal places and alias this as whatever is given in the output right so immediate percentage so i copy paste it here okay so this looks good let me go ahead and run this to see what happens 
okay so this is accepted our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases so yeah this passes all the test cases and this is how we do it again kind of tricky question but like if you follow the logic it is very simple all we had to do was you know firstly identify what is the order number of each of the order associated with different customers and what kind of order it was and then based on the and keeping only the first orders try to find out how many of them were immediate how many of them were scheduled so you take the immediate ones and divide by the total number multiply it by 100 and round it to two decimal places and that is how you get the immediate percentage on first orders right so i hope this vi this video was helpful let me know if you uh, know any better way of doing this or a more effective way of doing this uh, comment down below the solution that you might have and until then, I will see you guys in the next video.